1. Malware, software designed to harm or exploit a computer system. This can include viruses, worms, trojans, ransomware, and other forms of malicious software. 2. Phishing, the practice of tricking people into giving away personal information or login credentials by posing as a trustworthy entity through email, phone, or text message. 3. Ransomware, malware that encrypts a victim's files and demands payment to restore access. This can be in the form of a digital currency such as Bitcoin. 4. Botnet, a network of infected computers controlled by a single entity, often used to launch distributed denial-of-service (DDoS) attacks or send spam emails. 5. Firewall, a network security system that monitors and controls incoming and outgoing network traffic and is used to prevent unauthorized access to a private network. 6. Two-factor authentication, a security process that requires an additional form of verification, such as a code sent to a phone, in addition to a password. This helps to prevent unauthorized access to an account. 7. VPN, a virtual private network that encrypts internet traffic and allows users to securely access a private network remotely. 8. DDoS, a distributed denial-of-service attack that floods a website or network with traffic to make it unavailable. 9. Man in the Middle, MITM, Attack an attack in which an attacker intercepts and modifies communication between two parties, often to steal sensitive information. SQL injection, a type of attack that exploits vulnerabilities in a website's database to gain unauthorized access. 11. Social engineering, the use of manipulation or deception to trick people into divulging sensitive information. 12. Antivirus, software that detects and removes malware from a computer system. 13. Rootkit, malware that hides its presence on a computer and grants an attacker control over the system. 14. Zero-day exploit, a type of attack that takes advantage of a previously unknown vulnerability, before it has been discovered and patched by the software vendor. 15. Spam, unwanted or unsolicited electronic messages often used for phishing or spreading malware. 16. Advanced Persistent Threat APT, a targeted cyber attack, often by a nation-state, that gains unauthorized access to a network and remains undetected for an extended period of time. 17. Keylogger, a type of malware that records every keystroke made on a computer, to steal personal information such as login credentials. 18. Brute Force a type of attack that uses automated software to guess a password or encryption key by trying every possible combination. 19. Vulnerability, a weakness in a computer system or software that can be exploited by an attacker. 20. Password cracking, the process of guessing or recovering lost or forgotten passwords. 21. Encryption, the process of converting plaintext into a coded message that can only be deciphered with a secret key. 22. Token, a physical or digital object that grants access to a computer system or network. 23. Honeypot, a decoy computer system or network set up to attract and detect cyber attacks. 24. Cyber espionage the use of digital means to gather sensitive information from other countries or organizations. 25. Cyber warfare, the use of cyber attacks to disrupt or destroy critical infrastructure or military operations. 26. Cybercrime, a criminal act committed using the internet or digital technology. 27. Cyberbullying, the use of electronic means to harass or threaten someone. 28. Data breach, an unauthorized access or release of sensitive information. This can include personal information such as social security numbers, credit card information, and login credentials. 29. Cloud computing, the delivery of computing services, including storage and processing power, over the internet. 30. End-to-end -end encryption, a method of encryption that ensures that only the sender and intended recipient can read the message. 31. Cyber hygiene, 
the practice of maintaining good security practices and keeping software and systems up to date. 32. Incident Response, the process of identifying, containing, and recovering from a cyber attack. 33. Cyber Physical Systems, computer-controlled physical systems such as industrial control systems or medical devices. 34. Mobile Device Management, the practice of securing and managing mobile devices, such as smartphones and tablets, in an organization. 35. Identity and Access Management, IAM, the process of controlling access to computer systems and networks based on a user's identity. 36. Sandbox, a secure environment used to test and run untrusted code or software. 37. Backup, a copy of data or files that can be used to restore the original in case of loss or damage. 38. Denial of service, DOS, an attack that makes a computer resource or network unavailable to its intended users. 39. Penetration testing, the practice of simulating a cyber attack on a computer system to identify vulnerabilities. 40. Network segmentation, the process of dividing a network into smaller sub-networks for security and management. 41. Endpoint security, the practice of securing all devices that connect to a network, including laptops, smartphones, and servers. 42. Intrusion Detection System IDS, a security system that monitors network traffic and alerts administrators of potential attacks. 43. Intrusion Prevention System IPS, a security system that monitors network traffic and automatically blocks suspicious activity. 44. Security Information and Event Management SIM, a security system that collects and analyzes log data from multiple sources to detect and respond to security threats. 45. Advanced Encryption Standard AS, a widely used symmetric encryption algorithm. 46. Public Key Infrastructure PKI, a system for creating, managing, and distributing digital certificates and public-private key pairs. 47. Digital Signature, a method of verifying the authenticity and integrity of electronic data using a digital certificate. 48. Digital Certificate, a digital document that binds a public key to an identity. 49. Secure Sockets Layer, SSL, a protocol for securely transmitting data over the Internet. 50. Transport Layer Security, TLS, a security protocol that replaces SSL for securely transmitting data over the Internet. 51. Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure, HTTPS, a protocol for securely transmitting data over the Internet, used for online shopping and banking. 52. Secure Shell, SSH, a protocol for securely accessing and managing remote computer systems. 53. Remote Access Trojan, RAT, malware that allows an attacker to remotely control an infected computer. 54. Trojan Horse, malware that disguises itself as legitimate software. 55. Worm, a self-replicating type of malware that spreads itself to other computers. 56. Adware, software that displays unwanted advertisements. 57. Spyware, software that collects personal information or tracks a user's online activity without their knowledge. 58. Fileless malware, malware that resides in memory and does not leave any trace on the hard drive. 59. Script Kitty, an unskilled individual who uses pre-written scripts or tools to launch cyber attacks. 60. Advanced Persistent Threat, APT, a targeted cyber attack often by a nation-state, that gains unauthorized access to a network and remains undetected for an extended period of time. 61. Root access, the highest level of access to a computer system or network, allowing full control over the system. 62. Distributed denial of service, DDoS, a type of attack that floods a website or network with traffic to make it unavailable. 63. Cross-Site Scripting, XSS, 
a type of attack that injects malicious code into a website to steal user data. 64. Cross-Site Request Forgery CSRF, a type of attack that tricks a user into performing actions on a website without their knowledge. 65. Internet of Things IoT, the interconnectedness of everyday devices, such as smart home devices and cars, through the Internet. 66. Artificial Intelligence AI, the ability of a computer system to mimic human intelligence and perform tasks such as learning and problem solving. 67. Machine Learning ML, a type of AI that allows computer systems to learn and improve performance without being explicitly programmed. 68. Cloud Security, the practice of securing data, applications and infrastructure in cloud computing environments. 69. Cloud Access Security Broker CASB, a security solution that sits between a company's on-premises infrastructure and cloud services, to provide visibility and control over cloud usage. 70. Software Defined Networking SDN, a network architecture that allows the control plane of a network to be programmatically configured. 71. Identity and Access Management IAM, the process of managing user identities and access rights to resources and applications. 72. Data Loss Prevention DLP, the practice of identifying and blocking sensitive data from leaving an organization. 73. Cloud Identity and Access Management CIM, the practice of managing user identities and access rights to cloud-based resources and applications. 74. Identity and Access Governance IEG, the practice of ensuring that only authorized users have access to sensitive data and systems. 75. Encryption Key Management The process of creating, storing, protecting, and managing encryption keys. 76. Multi-Factor Authentication MFA, a security process that requires more than one method of authentication, such as a password and fingerprint or security token. 77. Cyber Threat Intelligence CTI, the process of collecting, analyzing, and disseminating information about cyber threats to protect against them. 78. Cyber Resilience, the ability to prepare for, withstand, and recover from cyber attacks. 79. Cybersecurity Operations Center SOC, a centralized unit responsible for monitoring and analyzing security-related data from various sources to detect and respond to cyber threats. 80. Risk Management The process of identifying, assessing, and prioritizing potential risks to an organization's assets, and implementing controls to mitigate or accept those risks. 81. Compliance, the adherence to laws, regulations, standards, and policies that govern an organization's information security practices. 82. Supply chain security, the practice of securing the flow of information and materials throughout the supply chain, from supplier to customer. 83. Digital forensics, the process of collecting and analyzing digital evidence in support of criminal investigations. 84. Incident Response IR, the process of identifying, containing, and recovering from a cyber attack. 85. Mobile Device Management MDM, the practice of securing and managing mobile devices, such as smartphones and tablets, in an organization. 86. Network Security The practice of protecting a computer network from unauthorized access, use, disclosure, disruption, modification, or destruction. 87. Email security, the practice of protecting email systems from spam, phishing, and other types of cyber attacks. 88. Cyber insurance, insurance coverage for losses resulting from cyber attacks. 89. Internet of Things, IoT, security, the practice of securing the interconnected devices and systems that make up the Internet of Things. 90. Physical security, the practice of protecting a building and its assets from unauthorized access and damage. 91. Artificial intelligence, AI, security, 
the practice of protecting AI systems from cyber attacks and other forms of misuse. 92. Access Control the practice of limiting access to resources and systems based on user identity and other factors. 93. Authentication, the process of verifying a user's identity. 94. Authorization, the process of granting or denying access to resources and systems based on user identity and other factors. 95. Security Information and Event Management SIM, a security system that collects and analyzes log data from multiple sources to detect and respond to security threats. 96. Web Application Firewall WAF, a security system that monitors and controls incoming and outgoing web traffic. 97. Internet Service Provider ISP, a company that provides internet access to customers. 98. Network Address Translation NAT, a technique used to change the IP address of a device on a network to make it accessible to other devices on the Internet. 99. Zero Trust Security, a security model that assumes that all devices, networks, and users are potentially compromised and therefore requires continuous verification and authentication before granting access. 100. Dark Web a part of the internet that is not indexed by search engines and can only be accessed using special software. It is often used for illegal activities such as buying and selling illegal goods or stolen data.